In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a visualization that compares current year sales to prior year sales, but I want my grand total to be an average. However, notice how there's no reference line on my grand total. So in this tip, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. My name's Andy Kriebel. I'm a Tableau visionary and the founder of Next Level Tableau. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and don't forget to hit subscribe. That helps other people find the content too. Let's get back to it. To start, I've gone ahead and created a couple calculations. The first one is my 2024 sales. All this says is that if the year of order date is equal to 2024, bring back the sales. The second calculation is very similar, except I swapped the year out for 2023. And then I have one more calculation that lets me compare the sum of sales for 2024 compared to the sum of sales for 2023. And I'm gonna use this for the color coding. Okay, so let's build our visualization. I'm going to right click and drag the order date field and drop it onto the columns. This shortcut menu pops up and I just want to look at the individual month names. So I'm going to choose discrete months and click on okay. And notice I get my month names across the top. Great. Let's drag sales 2024 onto the rows and we get a line chart. Now Tableau gives us a line chart because it thinks the best way to visualize data across time is with a line. But for this example, we're going to change the mark type to a bar. Okay, great. Now, I want to have a reference line for my comparison to 2023. So I need to drag the sales 2023 field onto the detail shelf. And because it's on the detail shelf, it's now available to use as a reference line. Go up here to your analytics pane and drag on a reference line. And we want to do it for each cell. In this case, each cell represents each bar. So we're going to be putting a reference line on each bar. So drop it there and we get our reference line window. Down here in the line section, go ahead and change the value to our 2023 sales. If you look in the background here, you can see we have these different reference lines going across the view. Let's go ahead and label those. We'll turn the value on. And I like to change the formatting so that I get rid of the opacity. And I always untick this show recalculate option. Okay, great. So we're there. And the other thing we want to do is we want to color code these bars based on whether 2024 exceeds 2023. So for example, January exceeds 2023. So we want to give that one color, whereas February is behind 2023. So we want to give that a different color. That's where this calculation I created. Let me show this to you again. This is where this calculation comes in handy. So it's going to look at the length of each bar and compare it to the reference line. Let's go ahead and drag that onto the color shelf and I get two colors. So you can of course change the colors if you like. Now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to add a total on here, but we want our total to be an average. So it's gonna be the average sales across the year for 2024. So go to your analytics pane up here on the upper left, grab the totals option under summarize, and we're gonna choose row grand total. So that's gonna put the grand total on the right-hand side. And what Tableau does by default is it uses the same aggregation as the field on the rows. So our field on the rows says sum of sales for 2024. So when we click on this reference line, you'll see this says automatic. This means that Tableau is automatically using a sum for the grand total. Well, we want to change that from automatic to an average. Great. Excellent. And now this is telling us the average sales for 2023 is 50,767 but I actually don't want to see the reference line on my grand total. So here's the little trick. If I click on any of these reference lines, notice it says average here. If I change this to total, my average line for the grand total disappears. Let me hit undo and keep your eye on that grand total there. So I'm going to click on one of the lines, change the aggregation for my reference line to total, and then that goes away. So what's happening here is Tableau is giving us the average sales for each of the individual bars. And whether I make this a total, an average, whatever, it doesn't matter because it's just bringing back one value, which is the sum of sales for 2023. But over here on the right-hand side, we've got a different aggregation for the bar. So when you do a total, Tableau doesn't know what to do. Therefore, it doesn't show that reference line. So that's all I had in this tip. Nice and short, but really, really useful to understand what reference lines do with grand totals and if for some reason you happen to need to get rid of that grand total. If you found this helpful, don't forget to give it a like and I will see you soon.